hello there guys uh, in this video we'll be talking about building a full stack e-commerce application with uh, laravel 10 and vue.js 3 it's going to be a step-by-step -step series and uh, in this video we are going to i'm going to introduce you to what we're going to be doing in uh, this entire series so you're going to be building this application with laravel and vue.js 3 and um, view that is uh, Laravel 10 was released uh, sometimes back this year, and uh, Vue.js 3 was uh, is the latest. So, yeah. so let's get started. So here we are going to to be digging deeper into what is a full stack application, so we can begin from there. Um, so what is a full stack application? So here a full stack application just combines the front end and the back end. Uh, development so in this case front end basically is whereby the user will interact with your application and of course in the front end here is what we have the html css and javascript so on the back end what we have there is just the database which will handle the logic for for example data storage and application and in this case here we are using the laravel uh, which of course is the back end for our application that we are going to, to interact with. So in this case, Laravel is going to be what we're going to interact with, whereby it is going to give us the authentication that uh, we'll want to use. For example, when you navigate here on the search uh, method here, we'll have application or application. So authentication is already there and we are able to interact with it our application now next we'll be looking at is the is now once we are able to know you know the difference between the front end and the back end now we can go to the to the introduction to the rest api because for us to have the vue.js interact with the laravel which is our back end we need our, to create what we call rest api so uh, basically, REST API just stands for Representation or State Transfer Application Programming Interface. And this one will allow you to, basically it allows for communication between different software systems. So in this case, we have the front end, the back end. And I've just highlighted to you the front end that we are using is the Vue.js 3. The back end is our Laravel application. So uh, REST API will make what we call the request data using different HTTP methods. That is get, put, uh, post, put, and delete to perform this operation. Now, uh, before this tutorial, I made another tutorial about Laravel 10 REST API. You may want to go and check, whereby I was able to show you how to, to interact with your backend, for example, you are able to make different requests here. You can see, for example, this is Postman, and you can use Postman here to test your APIs that you have created. So in this case, let's say, for example, we wanted to access something like uh, products within our application, so we could have something like products. Let's say we wanted to access the first product with the first ID, so we type api of course here we need to append the path with the application and then since i'm using the git uh, the get method because here we have just described these are the http methods so here when i send this request should be able to send uh, and give me an click that is the first product and you can see here from we are able to get the first product within um our backend application through use of this api since we have created the api within our application so this i did this so you may want to check the video of this uh of this uh this tutorial that i did yeah and then let's continue now after after that we now let's look at laravel 10 uh for backend because as i've said this is what you are going to be using to to make the APIs and then we use our Vue.js to be able to interact, the, the both application to interact together. So in this case, here we have the, so here, let's go back to the slide. So what we have here is the PHP uh, 
uh, web framework as I just shown you. And then here it is already has a built-in functionality for APIs. And uh, we are going to build this and then you are going to be able to see those APIs that are just within how you are able to create an API within your React, uh, within your Laravel application. Now with Laravel 10, we also have introduction of things such as uh, Laravel Pennant, of course, because now here we are using Laravel 10, although this is not important. I've also done a tutorial on, on Laravel Pennant if you are a Laravel developer and uh, you are still not aware of this, so you may want to go and check this out. Yeah, so that is the, the backend that we will use for APIs. Next we have is the Vue.js 3. And with the Vue.js 3 here, what we have here is, this is a progressive uh, JavaScript framework building user interfaces. And with the, with the Vue.js, what, what it is, it is a front-end framework and it is reactive. So when we say it is reactive, we are referring to the ability of the Vue.js to react to changes in data and automatically update the DOM response. So basically here is uh, when you change data property in your component within your Vue.js 3, the view will automatically re-render to reflect the changes. So that is what part was uh, Vue.js being reactive. And when we say it is um it is component based, it is means that it can you can use reusable components. For example, here you can have self-contained um in other words, components are self-contained units which have their own state, view uh, logic, and uh, they also have their own behaviors. So basically here is that you can use components to nest another component to another to form a tree structure and then with each component each view component they all come with uh, html you can embed html javascript fences and they can have their own state which you can which can be managed within the view component that is you can internally pass props or which we, or what we call um, properties and that's how uh, components are. That's what you're going to be deal dealing with. You're going to be creating components. For example, add product component, edit component, edit, and so forth. Now, we also have what we call Compos Composition API, which was introduced in Vue 3. And with Composition API, this is just a function-based uh, API that will allow flexible composition of uh, component logic. Um, so before view 3 we had what we call the options api which was the standard way to define a view component but in this case now with with the composition api this one will allow you to use what we call a setup function to organize your code by feature instead of option types with option types what was happening is that you could define properties such as data methods computed watchers is separate uh, options but in this case with the composition api what we are dealing with here is that we are, we are using what we call a setup um setup function so you have something like this so that is what we call the, the setup function in this case here so that's what we are dealing with in in view 3 now we have um now, once you are done with that, you are done with now understanding Vue 3, Laravel 10 for backend. Now, we are going to make them work to get together. And in this case, you're going to use what we call Axios. Axios is a popular HTTP client. And uh, if you are not new to this, I'm sure you must know how it works. Whereby here, I just have the website here. What it is doing here, we are going to perform what we call um, post requests. And then example you can see here we have um we have axios which is sending a post request and then we want to submit these two uh details here first name and last name and then if there's any error we are going to catch that error here the same thing we are going to do in our view js components or our code in our view js 
and you can do so many things you can do the post request the get request you can um, you can do many other activities here you just need to if you are new to this you may just want to come here and check it out and see how it works but with this tutorial i'm sure you're going to be able to learn what axios uh, does so you are going to learn more about it as we as we delve into this tutorial now this now this last slide here is just the application that we are going to be creating and in this case we are going to be creating a simple e-commerce application just a demo not a a, a, a full e-commerce this is just um, a starting point for you to understand how Vue.js works with Laravel and what are REST APIs and how do they work and I'm sure once you will be done with this you are able to create your full e-commerce application or any other REST API based uh, application for example whereby you don't want to use Laravel as your full to develop your full application you can use for example Vue.js or React for example and then you use a backend such as Laravel and be able to establish your application. So in this case here, let me just show you. Uh, so let me just take you to the demo of the application. So what we'll be building here is very simple, very simple, but it's simple, but there's a lot that is going to go here. This is just a simple application whereby you can add a product like this. You can now, of course, see the list of products that you have as well you can log out so now when you log out of course we have the two functionalities here we have the log register function and the login function now i'm already registered here so i don't need to register but you can just come here and try to register here this application now uh, so here for example i have the email so this is brian the gmail sorry not gmail but then main.com then here we have password using now when i'm logged in i'm taken to the dashboard which is of course is that shows you the list of products that you have so here i can add any product so let's say product name is techno here the product description is a mobile phone and here i have a so let's say we have something like that now when i had here i'm taken to the product list and here of course what you can see here is that i'm able to to edit or view product here so for example i can edit here so it is able remember now what is happening here that this um data has been added to our laravel application that is the backend so because now we are dealing with, with view here so this is the view and this has been added to our backend. And um, yeah, so here we can edit. So for example, we can, let's say, uh, add 91 there. And then this will be updated. And of course, when we click on the view details, we can see it has been updated there. Uh, we can go back again to the product lists. And uh, that is now edit view details. Uh, another thing is that you can delete so let's say for example we wanted to delete this we are able to delete like just like that uh, another thing is uh, for example when you want to edit let's say you missed to put the pr product price there is also what we call validation here so the price of course is required and it must be a number which i believe is very important when you're developing such applications now here another feature which is very important is that i added was the login and that is the log login and register that is sorry the login and logout uh, registration so here for example you can log out and of course you are unable to access the any details of your product unless you are logged in and of course that is what we did before here so it means I have to come back here again and pause type this and be able to log in back to this application. So that's what I have there. Yeah, so guys, so this is and then of course there is what we call error handling methods, which I've implemented here, but I'll be showing you out as we continue here. I'll be showing you out 
how you are able to undo any error so that application is developed very good way All right guys so let's jump in into the installation of our laravel as well and we implement some of these authentication functionalities and later on we shall start with the new js